Welcome to our review on energy, power and paying for electricity. So what we find then is that energy is transferred when charge moves from a battery or a power station. So if we consider what energy store we start off with in those situations, in a battery, the energy store is a chemical store, and in a power station, it would either be a chemical store or a nuclear store, depending on which type of power plant we have. The electrons in the wire will produce light, a heating effect, or make a motor turn to transfer that energy. If you've ever looked at any of your electrical devices that you've got kicking around the house, then they will have a label or an imprint that tells you its power rating. All electrical devices have this power rating and it will either be in watts with a capital W or kilowatts, lowercase k, capital W. When we're talking about power, we're talking about the rate of transfer of energy or the work done divided by time, if we think back to our work we've done previously on power. So that what we can say there is that if we've got a higher power device, it's going to be transferring a greater amount of energy in the same space of time as a lower power device. So when you're sitting at home with all of your electrical devices running, then what's actually happening is somewhere located on your property is an electricity meter. Now, I've given you three different examples, but they come in all shapes and sizes these days. And you've now got the smart meters as well, which tell you exactly how much you're spending. But those electricity meters are actually measuring the energy being transferred by every electrical appliance in your house. What we find is when you read those meters, the little numbers on there are actually units of energy called the kilowatt hour. So a unit is the energy transferred by a one kilowatt appliance when it's on for one hour. And there are two equations that we need to remember relating into power here. The first one, the work done in kilowatt hours, is the power in kilowatts times by the time in hours. And power is work done divided by time. So that's one we've already met previously in our physics work, but make sure you know those two equations. The other thing you should make sure you remember is what the unit megajoule is. So one megajoule is the same as one million joules. They've included that on one of the old specification papers. So just make yourself wary about what those other terms mean when they pop into the units. To give you an example of the kind of question we could get based around our power, I've given you one here. Calculate the energy transferred by a 10 kilowatt shower that you use for 15 minutes. So first thing we're going to do is highlight, underline, circle or jot down the key bits of information from the question. So the power is 10 kilowatts and our time is 15 minutes. Remember when we have our work done is power times time, we need our time in hours. So what we've got to do is change our 15 minutes into hours. So we do 15 divided by 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. Hopefully we did know that bit. And that gives us 0.25 hours. Then we're going to substitute into our work done equation. So 10 times 0.25 gives us the answer of 2.5 kilowatt hours. The other calculation they could ask you to do here is to calculate the cost of using an appliance for a certain period of time. So what they're likely to do with this is to merge the two parts into one question. So I've given you an example of that here. Calculate the cost of using a 10 kilowatt shower for 15 minutes. The cost of one unit of electricity is 10 pence per kilowatt hour. So we can't jump straight into the actual overall cost because we don't know the work done at this point. We have to do the work done first. So work done is power times time. So our power is 10 kilowatts. Our time is 15 minutes. So 10 times 15 divided by 60 to convert it to hours gives us 2.5. And then we multiply the work done by our cost per unit, which was 10 pence. So 2.5 times 10 gives us 25p. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can describe how an electric current transfers energy. You can explain what's meant by a power rating. You can calculate the electrical work done and the energy transferred. 
and you can calculate the cost of using an appliance for a certain period of time.